Hi everyone, this is Val Sada. I'm going to take some a couple minutes and just review the course syllabus with you so uh, that you know what we'll be doing this semester. So the first thing I wanted to just show you is that we do have two course sections in this uh, class. Uh, one on Thursday morning, one on Thursday afternoon, and we will be doing a number of different uh, things over the course of the semester. Some will be in person, some will be online, and as soon as I have the final schedule for you, I'll let everybody know what that is. The, um, but for the first few weeks, I would plan uh, to make sure that you take a few moments and just review um, this material. So this person, first part of the uh, syllabus is just my contact information where I'm located, my office hours, as well as um, uh, when you can expect to receive responses back from me. I work hard to get back as quickly as possible to students when I have inquiries. Uh, my preferred method of communication is email. Um, I check that pretty regularly throughout the day uh, and right before uh, the night, so make sure that you uh, remember that. I am not good at returning phone calls on my uh, office phone, uh, mostly because I'm not usually at my desk, so make sure that you uh, only leave non-urgent messages on my phone. Um, this is a little bit about myself, a little bit of history. I'll be bringing in some of my uh, current nursing research work into the course so that you can see uh, some aspects of what we're going to be talking about so that you can uh, help develop your own personal research uh, skill. Uh, you did need to have taken statistics in order to, to enter into this course. Uh, we are really only going to touch the statistics related to research within this course, but there's some core uh, principles of statistics you'll need to draw upon in order to be successful. We have two uh, main textbooks. The first one is the Melnick uh, text, and that's on evidence-based practice in nursing. You can buy a used book, a new book, you can rent it, you can use an ebook. Um, you do not need the CD or the access code uh, to be successful in this course. So hopefully that will save you a little bit of money. The next uh, course uh, requirement that we have is um, that we are going to be using the APA manual, uh, and this should be the sixth edition. Um, make sure that you have access to that. You don't necessarily need to buy it. It is available at the library, and I believe it's online through our library, um, but you should have a current edition available to you as you go through the semester. We do need to have high-speed internet and computer access. And please make sure that you review the School of Nursing Handbook uh, for exactly what you need uh, related to speed. You will need a Husson Google account and your Canvas account. We'll do much work on Google as well as through Canvas, so making sure those are current, working, and up to date, that would be a real asset to you as you go through this course. We do give exams on ExamSoft. Uh, it might not be what you have experienced in the past, but please make sure that your exam softs and soft tests are updated and current with what's available, so make sure you check that at the beginning of the semester. The next uh, uh, site that I have available to you for reference is this port -a portal site, which I created. Uh, feel free to check it out and what's on there. Um, a lot of it is resources that I, I've developed uh, or held for nursing students. Uh, while I've been here at Hassan. A recommended text that you might want to think about uh, reviewing at some point might be the Garrett book on making literature reviews easy. Um, that is a method we're going to be using this semester. I don't believe you need to purchase it. However, if you're somebody who's going to go into graduate school, this can be incredibly valuable to you. If there are any additional articles or extra reading that I need you to do uh, over the course of the semester, I'll add those onto Canvas. In this course, we are going to uh, 
actually uh, look at nursing research as part of evidence-based practice. And our primary focus will be on how we use evidence to support our nursing practice. Uh, we will talk a lot about um, ethics also, the ethics of research as well as the different methods of research. Uh, just to give you a flavor for what uh, and how to use uh, evidence in your own daily practice as a nurse. I did include in the appendix a course learning outcome map for you. For those of you who like that level of detail, um, it will help you see how you're going to meet the outcomes uh, based on the different assignments that we have this semester. I will use a variety of different teaching strategies, primarily lecture, discussions, online discussions, case studies, small group work, uh, and then uh, you will have a chance to work with others um, in creating a project. So it, it should give you a good opportunity to see and feel what the flavor of working on an evidence-based practice group would, would look like. As far as grading goes, um, we use, again, this is a core, science, a core nursing course, and so you do need to get a 77 or better in the course. And I have multiple ways that we measure how you're doing in the course and how you're using the content. So the first way that I use is quizzes, and you'll have about 10 quizzes. I limit those to the number of questions. Um, they're very short, um, and again, they're to highlight key points in the material, make sure you fully understand it, um, and then uh, just help you be better prepared for the exams. The exams um, are all given uh, via ExamSoft. We do not have a HESI in this course, and they're worth about 100 points uh, each. Uh, I may adjust that depending on how we're doing over the course of the semester. So I may drop an exam, we'll see how you do. Um, it sometimes depends on the weather in the spring semester. So we'll see uh, what the weather entails over the course of the semester. Uh, the next um, assignment that you'll have, and this is really uh, how to take all the work that you've learned over the semester and create a, little, a small project. Um, and I've broken it up into different parts that you'll be graded on each part. And I'll give you feedback so that you can uh, maximize your points on this assignment. And the last way that I'll be looking at point grading is how well you do uh, reflect, self-reflection and engagement with others uh, over the course of the semester. I've included here how I calculate grades. I do um, round up um, uh, using the standard rules of rounding. So if you get a 0.5, I would grind that up to the next point uh, at the final grade. I don't do any rounding up until the uh, final grade is made. As I said earlier, there's no HESI for this course. And I do... Um, we will have sort of a midterm exam, a final exam, and a couple other course exams over the semester. Uh, that was based on feedback from students that they like to get uh, a lot of feedback about their performance. Um, the next area I wanted to just mention is that um, because many of our assignments are written or involve uh, direct feedback, really important that the assignments are uh, submitted on time. So if you, um, are going to be late for an assignment for any reason, please email me in advance um, and so I can prepare for that. But also, um, if you don't let me know and the assignment's greater than five days, five school days, um, you could end up not getting any score for that assignment, which would definitely affect your final course grade. We do use the APA format for all written material, including citations or references in exams. So please make sure that you um, have access to that APA manual. Attendance is, again, like all nursing courses, a requirement. Uh, I do that through uh, participation, um, different engagement activities over the course of the semester. So uh, please make sure that if you're going to be absent for any reason at all, that you just send me an email in advance as soon as possible. And, uh, so that I'm aware of your absence. 
academic honesty. This is a course that plagiarism is of concern, so I want to be very transparent that I will be using the Verisite uh, feature in Canvas to make sure that people are not copying or uh, or plagiarizing other people's work, including colleagues in the class. Uh, very important that we own our own work and that we um, do our best to limit uh, plagiarizing uh, other people's work. Um, that is a big piece of this course, as well as um, anything where uh, there's a question of cheating or uh, falsifying information, uh, including on the exams. So very important that you pay attention to that over the course of the semester. Uh, students with disabilities, very important that we have access to disability resources for students and you can access those through the Dean uh, Sharon Wilson Barker in the OASIS office. Uh, and I encourage you, if you, especially if you need testing accommodation or things like that, that you take access to those resources. They're very, very useful. We are uh, committed to maintaining safe uh, university environment online and uh, in person at Hassan. So uh, if you feel that you have a situation of sexual harassment or misconduct, please uh, don't hesitate to access these resources. Um, and I've included the website there for your use. Non-discrimination. Um, Hassan tries to maintain an, a fair and open environment. Um, and that includes our, our discussions on the discussion board. So please make sure that we're using professional and respectful language with each other over the course of the semester. And if you have any questions about that, let me know as soon as possible. Religious observation policy. If you have a specific holiday or observance that you observe as a person, and um, you need me to adjust the schedule for you, please let me know as soon as possible. Uh, I try to be as open as possible um, and accepting of uh, a variety of different faiths and practices, so it's very important that you let me know. Um, I know some things, but not everything, so it's very important that uh, I learn as well as you on uh, what different faiths and holidays are practiced. This section on uh, my ability to modify the syllabus, um, often in the spring semester we have bad weather or we have to make adjustments to schedules or syllabus content. Um, I have the flexibility to do that over the course of the semester, so please pay attention to the announcements in Canvas. And I'll also make sure that I reach out to everybody if I have um, a major change in the syllabus. Student services, they're all listed here. Uh, feel free to access them. One that I want to be uh, highlighting this semester is the Writing Center. Um, the Writing Center does have availability um, to help you with APA format. They also do grammar and um, can even help you with certain style uh, issues. Um, and they do have access online, so make sure that you remember that resource as you go through this semester. And we come to the outline. So the course schedule and outline is set up very simply. So the first column is the module number. The homework you need to complete is the second column. What we're gonna do in class or online that week and what we're gonna do for assessments. So as far as um, assessment goes, this is what you'll be graded on um, and scored on. So you'll notice that I tried to put the number of points for each um, activity so that you know how much each is worth that week. I did um, leave some space available uh, and you'll notice as we go further into the semester sometimes the modules are two or three weeks long and that's because the content requires you to delve into it a little more um, and I try to release modules at least a week in advance uh, sometimes two weeks depending on how we're doing um, so don't hesitate to uh, ask me if you're not seeing something posted yet. Here is our final um, summary of the outcomes table. 
And if you have, you'll notice that we um, help you meet a variety of different outcomes, including the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, Baccalaureate Essentials, the main nursing core competencies, many hospitals and uh, facilities in the state are now using those for new grad orientation as well as evaluation of new graduates. Program outcomes. This is the Hassan School of Nursing program outcomes. The level outcomes um, for you in this course, this is a junior level course outcome. And then the last one is the specific course outcome that you'll be meeting and how we will be assessing them. The benchmarks is a score that I created to help us um, evaluate how people are doing in the overall course. Um, and that's mostly for my knowledge. Um, and you don't really have to worry about that. So, okay, if you have any questions, email me. Um, like I said, I'm available uh, all the time on email, so don't hesitate to, to email. Thanks so much.